Hey friends, Ash here with Gen Sense with another fragrance review. Eagle Eye viewers will notice I'm wearing the same shirt as in my last video, and that's because I filmed both of those videos on the same day. That's crazy, I know. Today, I'm taking a look again at the Armoff Craze line with Armoff Craze Blue. In the past, I've reviewed Armoff Craze, the original, as well as Armoff Craze Fresh. The original Armoff Craze is a really solid Parfums de Marly Pegasus clone. Armoff Craze Fresh is a chemical dumpster fire. This fragrance is pretty solid as a clone. This one is absolute gutter trash. So I decided to give this line another chance, and that's why I bought Armoff Craze Blue. In this video, I'm gonna give you a rundown of this fragrance, how it smells, whether it's worth purchasing or if it's something you should stay away from, and we'll take a quick look at the presentation like always. So let's go ahead and jump right into this one and check out Armoff Craze Blue. Armoff Craze Blue is part of the Armoff Lux line, which realistically means absolutely nothing at all, but on the bottle it says Armoff Lux. Not that that really matters. Let's check out this box. So you can see here on the front of the box, Craze Blue for men, size and concentration at the bottom, and this box is actually a bit of a fingerprint magnet, which is picking up on the camera there. It says Craze all along the top of the box and the side. Here is the back of the box. And here is the bottom. Your badge code is going to be right here. This one is from 2017. The box opens up like so, and then your fragrance sits right in here. Let's take a look at that bottle. The bottle looks the same as the others in the line. The cap is a bit of a fingerprint magnet. Then it has this leather wrap that goes around the bottle that says Craze. You can see down here that it is Craze Blue from the Armoff Lux line. Here is your sticker, and the batch code info is over here in black ink. It's actually really hard to see. The cap does click into place, but craze bottles have a bad habit of this happening. This little part that's supposed to sit over top the atomizer, that has a bad habit of breaking off on these bottles. So don't be surprised if that happens to you too. And then you can see there on top of the atomizer, it says arm off. There is actually extremely little information to be found about this fragrance online. It may even be discontinued. I know there have been rumblings for quite a while that the original craze is discontinued, that arm off is no longer making that. And if that's the case, then this one and this one are most likely discontinued as well. That being said, despite the potential discontinuation, it's still easy to find these online. Whether we're talking about discounters like FragranceNet or FragranceX or on eBay. And since there is so little info online about this, I cannot find a note breakdown anywhere. The couple of places that do have a note breakdown for Craze Blue actually are just using the note breakdown from the original Craze. And the original Craze does not have the same notes as Craze Blue, so that's basically worthless. Our moth went through the trouble of making flankers of a fragrance, but then they didn't think that it was worthwhile to actually put out any info on the fragrance, including the notes. But let's forget about that and press on with this fragrance. When you first spray this on, you're gonna get a big blast of rubbing alcohol, and a lot of it. Along with that rubbing alcohol is a lemony smelling bergamot note, at least that's what it smells like to me. Craze Blue does open up with a little bit of a chemical funk to it in the citrus, but it doesn't smell anywhere near as bad as the liquid death that is Craze Fresh. This stuff smells like literal Windex. It smells like something you should disinfect your counters with and clean your windows with. Craze Fresh, that is. Back to Craze Blue, that citrus, like I said, has a little bit of a chemical funk, kind of has a, a chemical cleaner smell underneath the citrus, but that tones down and then this starts to go more in actual fragrance territory. There's a green undertone to the citrus in Craze Blue that gets greener as the fragrance starts to dry down. It does come across smelling very cheap. This is not one of those Armoff fragrances that you get and you smell and you say, wow, this is a great bang for the buck. This is a fragrance that you spend $18 on and then you get it in and you go, eh, maybe I overpaid on this. It smells like maybe sage is supposed to be in here, but more than anything, that greenness in Armoff Craze Blue smells like fragrances on Fragrantica that are listed with just green notes. It comes across a little bit watery, a little bit sharp, but it's kind of indiscernible as to what it's trying to be. It's just green. And if you breathe it in too much, it'll dull your sense of smell. Once it dries down though, it does become a more palatable fragrance. A lot of those overly synthetic, in your face, cheap smelling aroma chemicals in the opening and the mid die a long, slow, painful death. And in the dry down, you get a grassy green note, a white musk, and what smells like a mutation of geranium. It's like a geranium note that was raised by the Fratellis and the Goonies. 
A geranium note that was caged in the dark and shown no love and left to dwell in misery. That same geranium was scooped up, bottled, and put into this fragrance for your enjoyment. Cray's Blue is also a little bit powdery in the dry down, which honestly starts in the mid of the fragrance, but I forgot to bring that up because I was getting carried away on other tangents. But there is a little bit of powder here as well. After a couple of hours, Cray's Blue is a very weak fragrance off my skin. It is not a great performer, which I'll touch on in just a moment. And in that far dry down, a couple hours in, it honestly comes across like a cheap version of Creed Arolfa. So essentially a very cheap, not great take on Arolfa in the far dry down. In the opening in the mid, it does not smell like Arolfa, just once you hit the far dry down. And that far dry down, where this fragrance smells like a dollar store version of Creed Arolfa, is the best part of the fragrance. Unfortunately, at that point, a couple hours in, this fragrance is a skin scent. The overly aggressive and synthetic green notes and chemical soup kind of opening in mid really destroy the value of this fragrance. Because once it becomes decent smelling when it's a clear and spin Arolfa, you have to literally put your nose up to your skin and breathe in to be able to pick it up. So at that point, what use is it? One thing about Craze Blue that I need to make very apparent and very clear, this fragrance smells a lot better off a tester strip. As is often the case with tester strips. When you spray this on a tester strip, the citrus comes across much clearer. It makes the fragrance smell stronger, makes it smell sweeter, makes it smell fresher, makes it smell higher quality. Even with me saying all those things about how it smells better, it still is just basically moderately passable off a tester strip, but moderately passable is better than complete trash which is pretty much what this is. Once again, showing you that you should not always take the tester strip as gospel. It will lie to you. Now, everybody knows that Armoff makes clones. That's their big claim to fame, clone fragrances. But it's kind of hard to figure out what they're even trying to clone here. Like Armoff Craze Fresh, which again is just an absolute disaster, one of the worst fragrances I have ever smelled. I have no clue what Craze Fresh is supposed to be cloning, unless again, it's Windex. While Craze Blue is better than Craze Fresh, I still don't really know what it's trying to clone. A lot of people say that it's a clone of Versace Pour Homme. When you put these up next to each other, Versace Pour Homme, annihilates Craze Blue. The difference in quality is monumental. There is no comparison. And while Armoff Craze Blue does share a passing similarity with Versace Pour Homme, it's not close enough to it that I would call it a clone. I mean, maybe it's a clone of Versace Pour Homme in the opening and mid, just done in a horribly blended, supremely synthetic, horribly cheap way. But even then, I really don't think that they're that similar. And then in the far dry down, it ends up smelling like a knockoff Arolfa. And if Versace Pour Homme destroys this in terms of quality, do we really need to talk about the quality difference between this and Creed Arolfa? I don't think so. If Arolfa is Brad Pitt in his prime in terms of attracting women, then Craze Blue is Leatherface. I think that's a pretty accurate representation. Really though, it's a clone of neither. It's a failed blue fragrance lab experiment. It's a Frankenstein's monster kind of scent where they just threw a whole bunch of stuff in here and expected it to work. They didn't think it through. Also, if they were trying to clone Versace Pour Homme, it begs the question, why? Not that Versace Pour Homme is a bad fragrance, because it's not. It's that Versace Pour Homme is not an expensive fragrance, at least if we're talking discounters. Around 30 bucks for a 50 mil, 40 bucks for a 100 mil for Versace Pour Homme. This fragrance can be picked up in the low 20s, so it is cheaper than Versace Pour Homme. But if you told me you were going to buy this for $22 instead of a 50 mil of Versace Pour Homme for 30, I would have to question every decision that you have ever made in your entire life. That's how poor of a decision it is to buy this instead of Versace Pour Homme or any other similar fragrance. I'm not lying to you guys, I'm not trying to bust on arm off here, but the quality difference between this and the Versace, or again, any other similar fragrance, is astronomical. It's huge. This is some janky dollar store stuff. This is crap. The original arm off craze is pretty good quality as far as clones go. These two are terrible. Now I'm sure there's gonna be a couple of arm off apologists who say, oh, it's really not that bad. You're you're overblowing things. Do not listen to them. I don't have anything against arm off. I've given positive reviews to some arm off fragrances, but arm off is one of those houses that just throws crap against a wall just to see what sticks. Sometimes it sticks and you get something quality. Other times you end up with complete trash. And that's what you got here. This one is a little bit better than fresh, but it still sucks. This fragrance is legitimately like those knockoff bottles that you see people making fun of online, bottled into an Armoff bottle. For example, those knockoff Hugo Boss bottled bottles that say 
booze on the front instead of boss, the quality of the fragrance inside the booze bottle is the quality of this. If anybody tries to tell you that this fragrance is the same quality or close to Versace Pour Homme, you immediately know that they have no clue what they're talking about. I'm not trying to be mean about that. I'm not trying to put anybody down, but legitimately, if somebody comes up to you and they say, hey, this smells just like Versace Pour Homme. Either A, they're lying to you, B, they can't actually smell and they're just trying to fake it till they make it, or C, they work for our moth. That's it. I've already touched on performance a little bit, but I'll put a bow on that. It projects for about 20 to 30 minutes. It's a skin scent not long after that. It lasts for about three hours overall. It's a spring, summer, daytime, casual wear kind of fragrance, but please don't buy this. Don't wear this. There are literally hundreds of fragrances in this price range that smell better, that last longer, are more versatile, will get you more compliments, just better all the way around. And I am not lying about that. I am not exaggerating. Just some quick ones off the top of my head. Uh, Ferragamo, Urban Feel, Mr. Burberry, Perry Ellis 360 Red, Unforgivable, uh, Lome Ideal Cologne, Mont Blanc Legend, Lacoste Yellow, Individuel, Versace Pour Homme. I could keep going all day, but you get the idea. There's just so many, so so many better fragrances than this one that you can pick up between 20 and 30 dollars there's literally no reason to buy this none all right guys so that's gonna do it for me for armoff praise blue it's slightly better than armoff praise fresh but that's saying literally nothing as always guys thanks so much for watching thanks for hanging out with me today please like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys again next time with another fragrance video hopefully a fragrance better than this one see you guys